Quickly spinning up a social media presence for your new brand is frustrating without the right resources. Cover photos are not consistent sizes across the web, and you have better things to do than looking that up for the 10th time. Furthermore, your assets look different in context. They are cropped, resized, overlapped by your avatar, causing you to go back to your design software, make adjustments, and re-export for these unforeseen circumstances. My Figma template solves all of these problems. I've done the research to figure out what dimensions are required for each platform. I've also created live previews to see how your assets appear in context so that there's no surprises after uploading. To get started, you'll need to duplicate my Figma template. You can find this template on my public Figma community profile at figma.com slash at Ryan Warner. Select the social branding templates file and then click duplicate in the top right. You can also find this file by searching for me in the Figma community. At the time of this recording, you'll need beta access to do so. After duplicating the file, you'll land on the Getting Started page. Here I've included some step-by-step -step instructions to help you get started and use this file efficiently. Step one is to select a platform page. For this demo, we'll use Twitter. I already have some images pre-prepared for the purpose of this demo, so I'm going to bring those in and move them inside the appropriate master components. As you'll notice, you can see a live update in the context of this fake Twitter profile. As I move in my avatar, the avatar updates in the preview. I've also included some text fields to make this Twitter profile look more like your own. You can fill in your name and username and see them live update in the preview frames. The next thing I want to demonstrate is exporting. Twitch emotes are a great example to demonstrate this because they require multiple sizes on upload. I've pre-configured these export sizes on the master component. As you can see here, there are three export sizes with appropriate suffixes, so this emote is ready for export. I hope this template helps save you some time. I originally created it out of frustration during my own process, but through the power of the Figma community, I'm now able to share it with you. If you have any suggestions, requests, or run into any issues at all, please at me on Twitter at Ryan Warner Codes.